Just hours after he informed a police officer's wife that her husband was never coming home, frustration bubbled over for the chief of the Detroit Police Department. This is unacceptable. And this should be the line. Whatever your tipping point is, this should be it. Senseless gun violence on our streets takes the life of a hero with a family legacy of service to our city. And the chief has had enough. Officer Lauren Quartz was a devoted Detroit police officer with five years on the force. But if you ask his wife, Christine, he was an even better husband for the past 11 years. But even more than that was his job as a father to his two beloved children. Officer Quartz was gunned down last night responding to a call of shots fired. He was 40 years old. Through the pain and heartbreak today, Quartz's widow Christine shared her emotions with our Nick Monticelli telling us this. Uh, he was very loyal to DPD. It was his passion. She went on to say he loved being a police officer, but he also loved being a dad. He would tell you that was his greatest accomplishment, being a dad. Courts had a 15-year-old son and a 9-year-old daughter. Last night, he and his partner responded to a call of shots fired on Detroit's west side when they encountered a 19-year-old with an assault rifle. Courts was shot moments after he arrived on scene, and his wife was told it happened so quickly he likely did not suffer. Got several reporters covering this story tonight. Paula Tutman spoke with a group of officers now forced to plan his funeral. Karen Drew is uncovering new information on the accused shooter, but we begin with Rod Maloney. He's live tonight at Joy Road and Marlowe where this all happened, Rod. Yeah, and right behind me, Kimberly, is the building where it happened, and the shooting started in the windows that you see are broken out, shots coming from inside going out, and that's how Officer Quartz was shot, but then later, it all moved downstairs. The Detroit Police Department has lost six officers in five years in the line of duty. Chief White looking for some help from lawmakers, prosecutors, and judges. We need the courts, we need the lawmakers to step up. It's getting a little bit old hearing about what everyone's going to do. It's time to do it. Here's what happened. 7.30 last night, surveillance cameras rolled as a gray Dodge Caravan drives east on Joy in front of the Desire Salon. Look at the window in the top left. You'll see puffs of smoke as the gunman fired on that van. And then a muzzle flash, the shots hitting the ground behind and the van drives away. This is what brought officers to the scene. About five minutes later, as officers arrived, the gunman fired out the window, hitting Officer Quartz as he sat in his scout car. Officers quickly started converging on the scene, and when the man with the gun came down the stairs onto the street, they shot him before he could shoot at another officer. Chief White saying Officer Quartz's partner, Amanda Hutchins, nearly died trying to save his life. She makes the decision to give her partner a chance to live keeping her back to the assailant. I've never seen anything like that. This afternoon, one neighbor brought balloons, starting a memorial. It's sad for the family because they ain't gonna see that member no more. That woman also said that the Detroit Police Department is short a very good officer, and she wants officers to know that there are people out here who support them. Again, the fire, the shots being fired up the top here, down and we're told that it was a gun that had a banana clip with a lot of rounds and we believe that a whole lot of rounds were fired in addition to the one that killed officer courts reporting live on the west side rod maloney local four yeah all right rod